morning, Mr. Marcus. Well, good morning, Adonis. Thank you for being so bright and early and on time. And Jaden, good morning. And Liz, good morning. I, I was afraid uh, people were going to forget about our earlier start time today. So good job, you guys. I'm proud of you. Only three days till spring break. Hey, did you guys hear? I heard there's supposed to be like a massive snowstorm this weekend. I'm not sure that's exciting for spring break. Yeah, I saw that too. I guess it's but exciting it, if you like the snow, right? It really doesn't matter for me because I'm going to Arizona for baseball. Oh, you are so lucky. I normally go to spring training every year with my brother, but we're we're not going this year because we're just not. We're we're still a little worried about COVID, but good for you. You're going to be, well, hopefully it'll be warm down there, huh, Jaden? Yeah, it's like supposed to be like 80 degrees when we're there. Oh, my God, and we're going to be freezing here. Yeah, because we. I think we're leaving on Wednesday at like 3 in the morning. Oh, my. And then goodness. getting there at like 3 in the afternoon, and then... We have two games on Thursday, one game Friday, two games Saturday, and then Sunday's bracket play. Now, is that this week or next week? The next week. Down there. We leave on uh, next Wednesday. Oh, okay. So you're still here through this week. Yeah, we were supposed to have a tournament this weekend, but it's not looking good because oh. of all the snow. Yeah, yeah. Well, good morning, and let's see who, good morning, Hugh, and uh, yeah, we got a small group today. I'll, uh, I think I can handle the admitting today. I, yeah, Adonis? Oh, I was going to ask for, um, for our schedules, like how early our classes are. Can you like yeah, put I'm the gonna, schedule? Yeah, let, yeah, let me show you. It's also in my announcements for advisory, but here it is right there. Uh, if you wanna take a screenshot of that. Okay, so if you guys notice, um, if you're in group one or two in social studies, your class is next, right after advisory this morning. If you're in group three or four, you're at 9.30. Science groups one and two is at 1015 today. Science groups three and four is 11. Electives A one and two is 1145. Electives A three and four is 1230. Instructional support is normal. Notice your math is tomorrow morning groups one and two. Well, all my groups meet at eight o'clock. If you have me for math, everyone meets with me from 8 to 8.40 tomorrow because math three and four are my seventh graders. And then it shows you the schedule tomorrow for English world language, electives, instructional support. So either, either take a screenshot of this right now, or like I said, you can access it in the advisory dashboard under announcements. Good morning, Keller. Uh, put your hand down, Adonis, or I think you raised it again. Okay, thanks. Yeah, we got a small group today, but <laughs> probably because I'm probably going to have a bunch of people that log on at 8.45, our normal time, and they're going to be like, oops, where is everyone? Okay. Go ahead and answer this question. Let's just leave the chat. I'm going to leave the chat on public because we have such a small group. I think it'll be nice to see what your uh, classmates are saying because we only have one, two, three, four, five, six of you that are present today. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to write in the chat what is 
filling your bucket today and what's draining it. Meaning, <laughs> what are you pumped up about? Hint, hint, hint. What do you not have to worry about for the rest of this week? And then maybe what's, your, what's draining your bucket? Go ahead and type that in the chat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Adonis. Now remember, no homework this week except for what is the one thing that you have to remember to do in all of your classes? Finals. Yes, finals, and we're, we'll uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Jaden, can I prop you up? Do you mind if I share the incredible? um achievement you've made in the last few days sure and and Jaden I'm gonna kind of have you participate with me uh Jaden a couple weeks ago what was your grade in math you mind uh, sharing that with everyone it was very bad yeah <laughs> that's all I remember yeah, it, it was very, 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 very low. And as of midnight last night, actually technically 11.59 p.m. is when all the assignments locked. You can't even open them now. Uh, what was your grade as of, uh, did you look this morning, Jaden? No, I haven't, but I wrote it down yesterday and I don't, I think I did one thing, but I'm not 100% sure. Well, you passed. There was a... Let, it was a 61.26. Yeah, I think you got up to like close to a 65, if not a 65. So you did pass. So I believe overall you raised your grade like 50 percentage points just over the last week. So and, and how many of the rest of you, in fact, uh, go ahead if you're willing to share either out loud or in the chat. If you you don't have to say what your grade is, but if you want to share about whether you're proud of your grades or not, and that's totally up to you. Yes, Hugh, thank you for sharing that. And, and actually, Hugh, I've noticed that you've man, maintained those grades all quarter long. For so, props to you. Okay, so let me make sure you guys understand about finals. Okay, so what's going to happen here is it's very important that you make it for sure to your core classes. Are you guys going to have finals in your electives classes? I don't even know the answer to that. Do you have finals in electives? I had yeah. it in my photography class, but it was only like a five point assignment I have on the like quarter as well. And I did it yesterday because it was due today. Oh yeah, I think she like our photography teacher, she just said, um oh yeah, I think she just said like it was just gonna be like a quick quiz. Okay, okay. What I want you guys to understand is this on half the day on Thursday actually from eight o'clock in the morning until what is this break right here looks like it ends at 12 25 so for about four and a half hours on thursday morning you have instructional support but notice it's by appointment only and then notice all your final exams are due by 11 59 on thursday night but don't wait that long to turn them in uh, your math final is already published. If you understand your math final, which I think you're going to really enjoy because it's based on watching a video and then draw a graph 
of the activity represented in the video. And one of them is Miss Lynn in doing her Taekwondo. Another one is a student video we picked of them playing the guitar. Another one is uh, a dog chasing a ball. And I think your fourth choice, oh, was pouring water into a beaker. And so all you have to do for your math final is graph it and then write a paragraph explaining whether your graph is a function, whether it's linear or nonlinear, and then a conclusion. So it's super easy. So the grade that you have right now, if you check your grades for all your classes, is almost final. If you are in the 50% range, like let's say your grade right now is between a 50 and a 59. If you do well on the final, you could still end up with a 60 or above, meaning passing. So don't give up. Now, what about those of you that are below a 50? I'm sorry. The reality is, and you've probably heard this expression, you've made your bed and now you have to sleep in it, meaning there is nothing you can do, at least for this quarter. But I do want to share some sub suggestions with you all going into next quarter. But first and foremost, I want to take that this is exactly from the email I sent all your parents yesterday. First and foremost, I want to take this opportunity to give props to those students who have been keeping up with their work on a regular weekly basis, as well as regularly attending your class VCs and instructional support as needed. Online learning most certainly presents its own challenges, but those of you who have learned to advocate for yourselves in messaging your teachers and in regularly checking your inbox, as well as learning how to master the skills of self-direction and owning your own responsibilities as an online learner, you are learning important skills that will transfer throughout your life. This is a sample email or an actual email, part of an email I got from a parent yesterday morning that kind of reiterated what I said in my email. Mr. Marcus, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you both for your thorough and comprehensive approach and for your high expectations as a math teacher in general for your students and for my child this year. No doubt online learning has presented a lot of challenges, but you are correct in that all students are gaining lifelong skills in self-direction, self-management and organization. These are college level skills. In case you guys didn't realize it, what you have been forced to do in virtual learning is you are developing the lifelong skills that me and your parents, your grandparents, your aunts and uncles, none of them had to learn what you're having to do until they were in college or in the workplace, meaning, Take ownership of your own learning. When you don't understand something, reach out to your teachers, not having your parents reach out to them. Number three, attending and meeting your responsibilities. Okay, meaning do what you have to do when you have to do it and do most of this on your own not with someone holding your hand like you were used to in a traditional school. This is hard, you guys. No one said that virtual online learning is easy. It is very hard. Now, for those of you that did not make it, here's some suggestions. Some of you did not pass quarter three due to a number of reasons, most of which can be summarized with one word. Yes, that nasty word, procrastination. Here are a few suggestions on how to address the reality of too little too late, which you may have had to come to grips with yesterday or this morning when you saw your grades. First bullet, 
our choices in life come with consequences. You have been reminded all quarter long to stay caught up weekly, not to let work snowball. In fact, I use that very expression in our very first advisory meeting the first week in January. Do not get behind. Do not let your work snowball. Keep up with your work week by week. Now, the second bullet is very important. A failing grade does not mean you are a fail failure. It simply is an indication that your work submitted did not meet the minimum standard for passing. But you as a person are not a failure. Make sure you understand that. A lot of students internalize, oh, I failed. That means I'm a failure. No, it just means that your work did not meet the minimum standard for passing. Now, this third bullet is very important. And in fact, if you have not already made a promise to yourself to do this, I want you to. Hang on, I got to get my little pencil here, my red pencil. So, and I am going to highlight this because I want you to screenshot this or write this down word for word. Okay, let me admit someone that's waiting to get in the room. Okay, it says, change your mindset. Quote, what does the quote mean? It's not an actual requirement, but in your mind, you make it one. So instead of thinking that you're only required to go to math or any other subject that you failed quarter three, just one day a week, also require yourself to go to that class's instructional support at least twice a week. In other words, on your schedule that you post by your desk or wherever you post it, don't all, don't just have like math for Wednesday morning, whatever your group time is, but put down two days a week that you're also going to make yourself go to instructional support. I cannot stress this enough. Why? Because Think of a traditional school and that you would be in an actual live math classroom five days a week or in your other core subjects five days a week. So if one day a week is not working for you, make yourself go more than one day a week. Okay, the next bullet. We will not engage in making excuses but rather learn the important life lesson of being accountable for our actions. Did you attend VC and instructional support regularly this quarter? Did you turn your work in on time? If not, no excuses. You say, I didn't, my bad, I'm moving on. Okay, and then finally, understand that even if your best effort, efforts in the last few days of finally taking your responsibilities seriously at the very end of quarter three came up short, you have laid the groundwork for good study habits that you can continue throughout quarter four. So keep these things in mind when you do your one and only assignment, you can think of this as your final exam for advisory in quarter three, and that's your goals. Your, how did you do with your quarter three goals? How could you do better? What skills did you gain? What goals do you have for yourself, not only this week, but next quarter? And then, actually, I'm not ready to go on to that slide. Okay, who can tell me, go ahead, either in the chat or uh, raise your hand. Why do you think there is no grade check assignment for today like there has been the other nine weeks? Why is there no grade check assignment for today? Who wants to answer that question? If you look at modules, let me go to the student view and you have looked at advisory eight this morning. Why does it not have what you had every other week, weekly grade check? 
Why is there no weekly grade check for March 9th? Caden, unmute your mic. Caden, why is there no grade check assignment for advisory this week? Caden, unmute your mic, wake up. <laughs> Keller, why is there no uh, grade check assignment for module 10? Um, because there is nothing more to grade. Right. And I mean, rem remember, after it says check your grades, it says, what assignments are you missing? What are you going to do about it? Who are you going to meet with and when? Well, the reality of the situation is it doesn't matter whether you have one missing assignment or 30. It's too late. End of quarter. Okay, well, not end of quarter. The end of quarter is this Thursday night at midnight, which is the final deadline for all of your quarter three finals. Okay, now on your one assignment, which I am going to let you start now. In fact, most of you should be able to get this done. Is you're going to click on take the quiz. There's four questions. There's, they're worth five points each. You answer them in the text box provided. What went really well for this you this quarter? What did you excel in? What did you enjoy the most at Elevation? Number two, where did you struggle the most this quarter? What did you find challenging about being at Elevation? Question three, did you reach your goals this quarter? If so, how would you change your goals for next quarter? If not, what can you change to ensure you reach your goals next quarter? And then the final question, what supports do you need moving into next quarter? What can I help you with? What can other teachers do to help support you? So go ahead and spend our last, when are we done? Oh, we have till 840. Shoot, you guys have plenty of time to get this done. Uh, when you're done, go ahead and type a D in the chat so that I know you're done, but I'm not going to dismiss you until I actually check your submission. So I'm going to go ahead and go to where I can check the submissions as they come in. Answer these thoroughly. You have plenty of time. You have like 18 minutes left. And then I will go to my dashboard so that I can see where, when assignments are coming in. Oh, we already had a couple that came in. Okay, I'll move them over to my other screen so the whole class can't see your answers. But when I accept your answers to those four questions, I will say your name and dismiss you early. But before I start dismissing people, do well on your finals this week. Everyone have a safe, happy, awesome, stay healthy spring break. And I will see you guys, holy cow, when? On Tuesday morning, March 23rd, in two weeks from today, but back at our regular time at 845. But don't leave until I check your assignment and I dismiss you. Okay, um, 
Keller, I just checked your reflection assignment. And first of all, kudos to you, Keller. Uh, actually, Keller, unmute your mic. I want to talk to you for a second. Okay. Uh, Keller, I am very proud of you. Uh, you did meet your goals and you did do an awesome job with your grades. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel great about it. You should. You should, because like I said, online learning is not easy. In fact, it's very challenging. It's a, and I like what you said to even do better next quarter. So you have an awesome spring break. Okay, Keller, and I'll see you in a couple weeks. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. You too. Okay, let me check who's next. I'll just kind of tell you who's I'm looking at as I'm looking at them. Okay, Jaden, I'm looking over your submissions right now. So hang on a second. Yeah, I know math was a struggle, Jaden, but like I said, I gave, give you props for passing, even though it was the very end. Okay, go ahead and unmute your mic, uh, Jaden. Jaden, unmute your mic. Jaden left. Oh no, you're still here. I can't hear you, Jaden. Jaden, I don't think your mic was working a while ago. What happened? No, it's not. There's no uh, amplifying level on it. It's not showing any amp. Jaden, so um, let yeah, me. I don't know why I can't hear him either. Okay, Jaden, let uh, let me just say this, and and you don't have to respond. Uh, Jaden, I want what I want you to do for next quarter, and I think you know it is stay caught up week by week. Okay, don't let everything build up you know, like it did before and uh, just stay caught up week by week. I think you're going to find your life a lot easier. Good luck with your baseball tournament in Arizona. I can't wait to hear about it. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks, Jaden. Have a great spring break. Okay, let me see who's next. Thank you guys for your patience who have already submitted your assignment. I should put this last slide up here so that you can have uh, some little props there. Okay, who am I gonna check next? Okay, Caden, I'm looking at your submissions. Yeah, the big P word, Caden, procrastination. A lot of people struggle with that. Okay, Caden, um, you wanna share everything via the mic, Caden? You don't have to. <laughs> Caden says, Caden says procrastination sucks. Okay, Caden, good job. You have a great spring break. Have fun, Caden. I'll see you in a couple weeks. You are welcome, buddy. You take care. Okay, who am I going to look at next? Sorry, guys, I'm just, I don't know what order they're coming in. 
I'm just pulling them up as they appear in my dashboard. Yes, Tanner, absolutely. I don't think you ever had a missing assignment all quarter long. I uh, give you kudos for staying caught up. All A's. And really uh, doing well in this online environment. In fact, uh, Tanner, go ahead and unmute your mic. I want to ask you something out loud. You there, Tanner? Tanner, unmute your mic. Oh, Tanner's already left the building. Guys, do not leave until I dismiss you. <laughs> okay, let me go back to the, he may have misunderstood. I was just gonna ask him if since he's doing so well in online learning, if he was gonna continue an elevation in high school. Okay, Ephraim, I'm looking at yours. Yes, math is very challenging and hard. And yes, online, a lot of people, especially kids that go to regular school, they think online learning is a breeze. Like if you talk to your friends, they probably say, oh, you get to stay home all day. You get to play on the Xbox. You get to do your work on your own. You've got it easy. They don't understand that online learning is harder than regular school. Okay, Ephraim, I agree with you. You wanna share everything out loud, Ephraim, before I dismiss you? Um, yeah, you can. Yeah, Ephraim, what, what do you think is the number one thing that you're really going to keep after yourself on next quarter? Like getting caught up. Staying caught up, right? And just yes. every Monday, every Monday, starting the week, module one, the week of March 22nd, say every week, I'm going to turn everything in on time. Then you have, don't have a lot of stuff at the end. Ephraim, you going to do anything fun during spring break? I'm just going to stay home and do like the usual things at home. You're going to chill? Yeah. You chill. You get some rest. Okay, buddy. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, let's see who's next. Uh, Liz, I'm looking at yours. Okay, uh, Liz, kudos for you for your fantastic quarter. Uh, Liz, I may have asked you this during conferences, and I think I remember. You're going back to a regular high school next year, right? Yeah, I'm going back to regular high school. Oh, that's right, because of gymnastics, right? Yeah. Okay, well, listen, uh, you, what are you going to do during spring break? Anything fun? Um, no. I really think so. I just have like practice and then I don't really know. You're going to chill? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, cool. And you keep up the great job. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye bye. Okay, and now I am looking at. How are we doing on time? Oh, we got seven minutes left. So I pre appreciate you guys waiting until I get to each of you. Okay, I'm looking at Brianna's reflections. Uh, 
I do want you guys to know, especially a lot of you that have noted that were, there were a couple things in math or a lot of things in math maybe that you were confused on. We did our hardest unit in quarter three. Anyone want remember which one that was? In fact, it's hard for high school kids. Anyone know the name of the hardest unit in math in quarter three? Brianna, go ahead and unmute your mic. You there, Brianna? You there, Brianna? Is it like, uh, yes. Yeah, was it the systems of linear equations unit that you got extra help on? I think it um, was. Yes, it was a Yeah, that part. Thing. Yeah, when, when you're doing uh, linear equations and having to find the solution and the graphing and all that and solving by elimination or substitution. So the good news is for everyone, the hardest unit is out of the way, uh, but you still got to keep up with math. So Brianna, I am very proud of you. You did a tremendous job of keeping up with your work and your grades. And what are you most proud of, Brianna, from quarter three? Um, being able to maintain grades in all my classes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And are you going to do anything fun during spring break? Okay, yeah, your mic's kind of cutting out, Brianna. But you have an awesome, fun, safe spring break, Brianna, and I'll see you in a couple weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You bet. Bye-bye. Okay, let's see who's next. Now, of course, my computer's deciding to go slow. Um, whenever I'm in a live Zoom session and I'm trying to get into my dashboard, it goes like super slow. Okay, Deanna, I'm looking at your responses. Yeah, exactly. It's that, that doggone P word, procrastination that hurts so many of us. But yeah, Deanna, I agree. Just stay caught up week by week because I know you can do it. And if you just do like you started this quarter, I know you can have a really good quarter four. Deanna, are you going to do anything fun during spring break? Um, I'm not sure. Well, try to do something fun, okay? And reset your, like just reset your mind and your energy and all that. And starting with module one in a couple of weeks, just every day do like one class. Say, I'm gonna get my social studies done on like Tuesday, science on Wednesday, math on Thursday, whatever. Just make a schedule and stick to it. You have an awesome spring break, okay, Deanna? Okay, thank you. Okay, bye bye, hun. Bye. Okay, and next, let me go to. Harry, are you there live? Oh, no, he's. Gosh, Harry, if you could have submitted your assignment now, you should have been in the room. Harry's the hockey player that I told you guys was, um, you know, travels all the time. He just submitted his assignment. But doggone it, Harry, if you were available to submit, you should have come in and said hi to everyone. I'm mad at you. Okay, let me go. To, <laughs> but great job, Harry, for the quarter. Okay, let me look at who else is in here. I'm sure the rest of our advisory class would have wanted to meet you, Harry.
gosh, why am I having trouble? Hang on, guys. Oh, I know why I have to submit Harry's grade or it won't let low, it won't let me go to the next one. I know one minute left. Okay, Hugh, I'm looking at yours right now. Hugh, I want to give you kudos, man, for, you know, just staying on top of things. Hugh, unmute your mic really quick. Hugh, you said you wanted to get your grades even higher next quarter. How can you get higher than uh, how can you get higher than all A's? Oh, um, well, I wanted to be like um, grades that you see in like uh, East foreign countries, where it's like A plus, A minus, stuff like that. Oh, because oh. I'm from like an East foreign country, so that's how my grades usually work. Yeah, so like to get to that, I think A pluses start at um, A pluses start at ninety eight percent or above. Mm -hmm. So that's a great goal to have. Did you ever get a hold of Eagle Crest? Oh, I did. Yeah. Okay, good, good. I'm glad you did that. And who's left? Just unmute your mic because I won't have time to grade your assignment. Good morning, Yamoni, but Yamoni, we're on a different schedule this week. It's posted in all your classes. In fact, Yamoni, it is time for social studies in five more minutes. You missed advisory, Yamoni, so make sure you watch the recording because I talked about some very important goal setting. And who's left to share? Chris, go yeah. ahead and unmute your mic. All right, thank you. Yep. Chris, you going to do anything fun during spring break? Adonis, what are you going to do during spring break? No, same way. Really. Adonis, are you going to are you going to reset your your attitude to go back to that happy, cheerful Adonis that I know and love? I'm going to try. Okay, I want to I want to see that positive Adonis moving forward. Hey, Adonis, Chris and Hugh, you guys have a great spring break. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Go to social studies. Bye bye. Okay. Bye.